With her job on the line... Are you intending to resign? My focus is on the team, the customers, the community. My focus is not on myself. The head of Optus facing two hours of Senate questions on last week's massive outage. Chief Executive Kelly Bayer-Rosmarin defending the communications company's communication with the public. I fully appreciate how frustrating it was for all our customers. We ourselves did not know what the issue was. Conceding there was no plan for an outage of this scale other than key staff jumping networks. We do have uh, a process of key people having backup SIMs. 10 million Australians and 400,000 businesses were unable to make phone calls or access mobile internet for 14 hours. For 228 people, it also meant they couldn't get through to emergency services when they attempted to call. Sydney man Martin Bale was one of them. Suffering from a serious coughing fit, he attempted to connect to triple zero, but it took several attempts and multiple phones. It's a bit jarring when you know, you're meant to be able to get onto emergency services, you can't. Optus insisting the triple O system should have worked. We have done welfare checks on all of those 228 calls um, and thankfully everybody is OK. They're meant to check on you if you can't get onto emergency services, they didn't. So there's obviously a disconnect there. Under mounting pressure from a parliament that's trying to connect with public outrage over the debacle, the chief executive appears seemingly confident she can weather the storm. Either way, it's been a public relations nightmare with mounting calls for compensation. Nicole Hegarty, ABC News, Canberra.